as a house in Houghton. Not bad from the outside, but inside, its operations are in shambles. The staff complement has been cut from 25 to 9, and the 9 have not been paid for two months. This organization used to run uh, at a budget of between 27 and, and 35 million a year. <laughs> and at the moment we have nothing. We are actually in the red. So where does this leave the athletes? Luckily, athletics being an individual sport, there's still competition opportunities in Europe. We've got a few permit meetings coming up in South Africa soon. I hope they've organized and going on. Uh, the good news there is it's independent organizers. So we've got um, provinces and clubs organizing them. So we're not really that reliant on Athletics South Africa head office. But ASA is responsible for the national track and field championships, a prerequisite for those with world championship ambitions. And currently there's no money and no sponsor. James Evans, who was impeached as president of ASA over the weekend, says athletes should not worry. Fortunately, the IWF is a different model for the World Championships, where the, the, the organizers actually pay for the, the, the transport and the accommodation. So the senior, champ, senior team is not a problem. Uh, in terms of preparation, timing, it, uh, funding is tight, um, but we will do our best to make sure that the team is prepared. At the moment, ASA requires at least 60 million rand just to be a viable business again. In the meantime, it's the athletes who suffer. Tabi Sositola, SABC News, Johannesburg.